Hello, and this is Heist 2012 for the ZX Spectrum. That music at the beginning sounded like someone had recorded the sound of their own farts and sampled it and used it as computer game music. Stupid jumps. Yeah, there it was again. Fart Symphonique. There is no in-game tune, which is probably just as well under the circumstances. Although there is the occasional noise that sounds like someone breaking wind. This game was released in 1987. It was a budget title. Steps back in amazement. 199. And obviously it's set in the year 2012. The Earth has now become a credit society. And the banks have got all the proper money. The most powerful one is some Swiss bank. And I think you're some kind of computer programmer or engineer or something. On each of the levels you've got to find a key. You need to use it to open the safe. And I think there are letters or something that you can use as a password to hack into the computer. Then you can transfer all the money into your own account. I don't know whether you've actually got to mess about trying to find out what the password is. I never got that far to be honest. I can't seem to even find the blue key. I'm wandering around this stupid landscape. Boring ruin scenery this is as well. It just doesn't have the spark of things like Jet Set Willy or the Monty Mole games. And that man just seems to be a white outline. I mean if he gets murdered, I mean what do the police draw around his body? And these things just look like kind of low budget versions of kind of Jet Set Willy Monty Mole monsters. And just not really that interesting to look at to be quite honest. Avoid the, with, I don't know, what are they, like bullets or something? I think Lego brought out a bank years ago now. Yes, little kids, so if you own a Lego bank, and you know any other little kids who have got Lego houses, you can take them off them. This flipping jump is kind of awkward as well. Avoid the, the goose there, it's just come out of the oven or something, has it? Oh, now he seems to have been killed by, I don't know quite what that is, Tor Johnson or someone. By the way, that weightlifter's arm there, holding the weights, that signifies how much energy you've got. When it gets down to just the weight, then you're in trouble. Every time he dies, you get a little bit of music. It's called farting in C minor or something. And this game is just gets boring after a while. It's not wandering about. It's not like where you've got actually got items to pick up and things, you just gotta find the flipping key and mess about with my stupid computers and things. I mean seriously, we don't want to live in a credit society. Banks have been powerful enough as it is. Just recently I was trying to make a simple transaction. Online doing bank thing wouldn't work. There's no way you can go to local. They've closed down the bank in the town where I live. They've closed down the bank in a town a couple of miles away. Quite where you're supposed to living go exactly. I mean, what happens if I can't get any money out? I'm going to starve to death. And if we did away with cash, then it would just be all credit cards. The government would be able to keep track of every, our every move, spy on everything we buy. And also, if we dared speak ill of them, they'd be able to just block our account. They're really doing that, some of the living things. I like, Farage bloke got his bank account cancelled or something. Naturally that bloody awful labour woman started being her usual charming self. Oh it's good that white men are getting their bank accounts cancelled. I can't think what her name is now, but she's just one of the most toxic, horrible people you could ever meet. This is the Labour Party combating sexism and racism by being racist and sexist. Avoid that eye there, it might uh, look at you nastily. Oh, here we go. Mm, that's a really horrible noise. What was that Mendelssohn Fartalot's fifth concerto or something? Yes, available while stocks last, which I'm sure they will. 
And these backgrounds are just boring, to be honest. I mean, it's all just offices and things. I mean, the only exciting is that. I mean, things like Jet Set Willy, Monty Mole, they had a kind of wide variety of locations. They all just been wandering about a bang. Yeah, thrilling. Oh, avoid that eye. It might, I don't know, look you to death or something like that. I think setting something in the foreseeable future is always a bad idea. I suppose when this was made in the 1980s, 2012 just seemed quite a long way away. I mean, whenever something is set in the future, no matter how far in the future it's set, it's quite obviously of its time. Oh, here we go. Mind you, at least he appears back there again. He doesn't just appear falling down again, like in Jet Set Willy. And like I was saying, I mean, like the Lego space sets. I mean, those ones that were made back in the 1980s. They're supposed to be in the... I don't know how far in the future they were supposed to be. They've got these huge, great breeze block walkie-talkies. They've had tiny little radios for years now in real life. Staff Canteen? What's that duck doing then? You'll kill your own, have you? What was that? There was a flashing red box there just then. The director's canteen, and notice he gets a special one. Oh, he's got a little swing. Oh, bless him. Oh, here we go again. All down splat. Yes, another knife gone. <laughs> Would you mind not farting when I'm trying to rob this bank? Disgusting little sod. It isn't always obvious which things you can actually jump on, that's the problem. Try and jump on something, you fall straight into one of the enemies. And I thought you would jump on those tables, obviously not. Oh, nothing here, there's just not really a lot to see in this game. You just end up wandering around the same old bits over and over again. Considering the name of this game, Heist 2012, is just a lot of fapping about. I mean, when you think of heist movies, you just think of, I don't know, fast-paced crime thrillers, that sort of thing. Not a bloke wandering around this bloody boring place. <laughs> yes, thank you. I think we can actually deduce that he's lost a life without you farting like a flipping stormtrooper. And here we go again, the all-seeing eye. You go into some shops, there's someone behind the counter staring at you. Like you're doing something you've, they've just picked off their bloody shoe or something. I mean, what the bloody hell do you think you're looking at? We've got somewhere else in the future. Not good enough for your wonderful establishment. There's not even that many screens in this game. I mean, I know it's only the first level, but it just gets boring after a while. It's just kind of empty, there's nothing really here. On the back of the heist cassette it says, Hack and grab your way to the computer core! Which actually makes it sound exciting. And it isn't, it's a sprite that looks like it's been taken off a little kid's drawing, ripping just wandering about. I know it's on the back of the box they use screenshots from a better looking version of the game. Yeah, I know it says that it's, these may not be the same computer system. It would be more honest to really put Spectrum graphics on the back of a Spectrum box, wouldn't it? Oh, how many more times I've gone round and round in circles looking for this stupid key. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. This game is trying to be the next Jet Set Willy and it's failing miserably. By 1987 we had stuff like Alf Weeders and Monty. Which was much better, it looks a lot better as well. I mean, this looks like something that belongs in the dawn of the flipping spectrum. 